All right, we're back. Had a little bit of a bridling lesson. A little bit of a come to Jesus. You know, even though with your horses, you know, you cannot overlook rude behavior just because of some thing, just because of something you happen to feel sorry for them about, you know. Rude behavior is rude behavior, whether they're two-eyed or one-eyed or no-eyed. If you can't safely be around them and get the things done that you need to get done without having to treat them with kid gloves and have a bunch of crap potentially frickin' hurt you, then you probably got the wrong horse, you know. Why did she get out of control? I don't know, because that's what she does sometimes. She, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's just, it's happened before on the videos. If you go through the videos, you know, you get a little bit too animated up here in front of her and she just kind of trips and wants to suck back and think around and, you know, she's better with it than what she was. You know, yesterday I put the training bridle on her with hardly no fuss, no muss, you know. I was messing with her ears and everything was fine and, and was good. Today, not so much at first, but, you know, sometimes I think she just gets it in her head too that she just wants, she might try to test me and get a little bullheaded and maybe don't want to deal with something that I want to deal with. And, we got to convince her otherwise, sometimes. Hmm? One thing she's going to need a lot of that she should have gotten before she came up here was a lot of bending and flexing. The first day I rode her, she was better flexing off her back than she was on the ground. Uh, day before yesterday, she got a little braced up on me, especially on this right side. So we had to get after her a little bit about getting braced up and <clears throat> get a little more firm with her. Putting the rope over, over the top and bringing it around and getting her to move her hind quarters seemed to help a little bit. But the more you did it, the more she started to spool herself up a little bit, and that's all she figured she had to do was when I put the rein over here on this side, she just wanted to, you know, do the whirly bird thing. So I'm not going to do that with her now. Now that I'm riding, I'm not going to do that with her anymore for now. <clears throat>
Today with the bridle, it's just up there for her to feel, for her to feel the reins, feel the bit, feel the different things that are added with the bridle. I'm not going to be touching those reins with her. Got long legs, sweetie, but I'm not going to stretch out that far. See, today that obstinance is just kind of bleeding over into this because she knows exactly where she has to be here in order for me to do this. And she's just kind of testing to see whether or not she's going to be able to keep doing this and I'll quit. You don't get upset about this. They have their days when they do this stuff. And I just hold up, make it life a little difficult for her to just stand there <coughs> when she figures out the correct place to go, which is take a step forward. 
and we'll release that pressure. She wants to get a little bracy with me this morning too on this right side again. So we'll fix that before we start doing something else. when I rode her the first time the reason why she jumped is because I got my hand out here and she just kind of caught the edge of that rain coming up and the edge of my hand and so we've been working on that to get her used to it and she's figuring out that my hand's not a threat over there as much but she's a little bit too t she's still a little bit tentative. A little bit tentative to move into that pressure on that side. Or give to that pressure, I should say, but move into my hand, you know. Give to the pressure and move into that, move into that threat, or the, her perceived threat.
Well, yeah, she's trying to figure out how to get her feet going. I got to work today a little bit too on not and just getting her going around this circle without cutting the corner but that's hard to do without two hands and I'm not quite ready to trust her to try or trying to figure out how to get her feet under her <clears throat> and not have a hold of that night latch yet. How long on that one? Okay, stop it, start again.